the hero as lover. The hegemony wrested from the enemy, the freedom won from the malice of the monster, the life energy released from the toils of the tyrant is symbolized as a woman. She is the maiden of the innumerable dragon slayings, the bride abducted from the jealous father, the virgin rescued from the unholy lover. She is the other portion of the hero himself. The motive of the difficult task as prerequisite to the bridal bed has spun the hero deeds of all time and all the world. In stories of this pattern, the parent is in the role of holdfast. The hero's artful solution of the task amounts to a slaying of the dragon. The tests imposed are difficult beyond measure. They seem to represent an absolute refusal on the part of the parent ogre to permit life to go its way. Nevertheless, when a fit candidate appears, no task in the world is beyond his skill. Unpredicted helpers, miracles of time and space, further his project. Destiny itself, in the form of the maiden, lends a hand and betrays a weak spot in the parental system. Each system holds within itself the seeds of its own inevitable demise. It's time for the people to come together, get organized, and rise. And the world that is sad to birth rise, the grail, the gold, the prize. You're a dreamer slowly waking up and seeing through your own disguise. You're surprised, you're finding out that it's been me all along. Me and I'm reaching out to help you through the voice in every song. You and I, I in sacred union, the characteristic adventure of the first is the winning of the bride. The bride is life. The adventure of the second is the going to the father, for the father is the invisible unknown. The hero blessed by the father returns to represent his father among men. As teacher or as emperor, his word is law. Since he is now centered in the source, to see him is to perceive the meaning of existence. From his presence, boons go out. His word is the wind of life. My word had simply occurred. My ear opened up to the song of the universe. This is what I heard. I am it. Don't panic. Just plan it. Spiral mechanic. You can make it better. Only those with insights can handle this endeavor. You're clever, however, you need to know about the infinite pain that you must undergo. Oh, you think it's all about greatness, huh? Yeah, you think it's all about fame. You still want that power, huh? Yeah, you want it all your name. Oh, you think it's all about greatness, huh? Yeah, you think it's all about fame. You still want all that power, huh? Yeah, you want it all your name. No one said it would be easy. No one said it would be fun. No one said it would be great. And you never will be done. No one said it would be The hero as world redeemer. Two degrees of initiation are to be distinguished in the mansion of the father. From the first, the son returns as emissary, but from the second, with the knowledge that I and the father are one. Heroes of this second highest illumination are the world redeemers, the so-called incarnations in the highest sense. The work of the incarnation is to refute by his presence the pretensions of the tyrant over. On a grandiose scale, he enacts the hero life, performs the hero deeds, slays the monster. But it is all with the freedom of a work done only to make evident to the eye what might have been accomplished equally well with a mere thought. Here with a thousand faces, I am the source of all the gods. Your words can never reach me, and all your images are frauds. I am a constant masquerade. That's why they call it history. All of life is just my stage, and I'm going through a new one. It's an idea this time has come, so let us go create. Participating manifest in and as the source that made. Everything around me gets lifted up and elevated. It's a gift to be alive each day and we should celebrate it. We practice what we preach and we will always demonstrate it. I keep it to myself though, I don't need you to validate it. I am sacred, putting these pragmatic systems to the test. I'm weighing pros and cons and calculating what is better or the best. The greatest depth for the greatest span. It's hard to be objective from the limit perspective of a man. But I'm doing my best and that's the best that I can. The best that I'm best, the best that I can. People 
wanna make the truth simple, but it's too complex. Then deflect. Followed by a slew of the same old fallacies that you'd expect. Respond, reject, incorrect, disrespect, limited perspective and disconnect. Repressed and underdeveloped intellect. You need to reproject, resurrect, cause effect, refine, perfect, divine connect. Take that knowledge to the whole world, starting with your local sect. Off stage direct, the plan to uplift and protect the future of humanity before it's wrecked. I suspect. We can do better if we can't connect If not, Mother Nature's gonna press eject Have you flashed much to your lesson yet? The same rerun programs on the same channels The time has come to rebuild and dismantle The virtues of the past become the vice of today It's not just all good, it's not all okay And we all have a motherfucker part to play from the standpoint of the cosmogonic cycle, a regular alternation of fair and foul is characteristic of the spectacle of time. Just as in the history of the universe, so also in that of nations. Emanation leads to dissolution, youth to age, birth to death. The god, who is the creator, becomes the destroyer in the end. Non-dual awareness. From this point of view, the tyrant ogre is no less representative of the father than the earlier world emperor whose position he usurped. Stated in direct terms, the work of the hero is to slay the tenacious aspect of the father and release from its band the vital energies that will feed the universe. In reality, Slayer and Dragon are of one mind behind the scenes, one taste, but mortal enemies on the stage where the everlasting war of the gods and the titans is displayed. The hero of yesterday becomes the tyrant of tomorrow unless he crucifies himself today. Part to play, part to play, part to play.